Grace, thank God you're here. My head is spinning and not in the good way. <laughs> okay, okay, Karen, calm down, calm down. Uh, all right, let's try a little experiment we did during my first year at the Fashion Institute. Okay. One kiss and then back to work. No. <laughs> That's sweet. Will's doing her one last time before he hands her off to Leah. I just hope before I get married, he'll do the same for me. <laughs> Ditto! <laughs> hey, Karen, can I kiss you? Why? Just cuz. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but on this week's episode of Along Came You, there was supposed to be a kiss, and there wasn't. Well, you know, Jack, sometimes a kiss is just not a kiss. Do we have any anniversaries oh, here? Whoa, 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 back to Jack. Uh, we went to complain, and this closet case upstairs, cute in an offbeat way, got his number, totally gave us the brush off. And I just want to know how long I'm going to have to wait until I can see two gay men kiss on network television. Not as long as you'd think. <laughs> your boyfriend my ass. You know what I love about the woods? Mm -hmm. I can just go to bed without brushing your teeth. You like that about Manhattan, too, don't you? <laughs> well, good night. Good night. Oh, I'm proud of our little boy. Graduating from school. Can I be honest with you, Will? I've always thought that Jack was an idiot. Well, now that idiot will hold other people's lives in the palm of his hand. Will, can I kiss you? All right. <laughs> the key to dating the undesirable is visualization. All right? Now, it's the end of the evening. And Karen, who is totally smitten with me at this point, thank you very much, <laughs> awaits a good night smooch. Oh, Lord, Jack, I just reapplied. <laughs> and as she leans in, leaning, thank you, <laughs> I don't see Karen, I see Dawson's Creek heartthrob James Vanderbeek. <laughs> now, this is an image that works for me, okay? <laughs> Utilizing my powers of concentration, I am now able to kiss James. I mean, Karen. <laughs> no, I mean James. <laughs> See? Any disgust I may feel is now eased by visualization. You know, I think I may join you for lunch. Because here comes breakfast. I know what you mean. Politically, I'm tolerant of the heterosexual lifestyle, but the actual act is rather revolting. I'm sorry, when I saw you at the bar last night, oh, I just no, no, assumed no, I was just uh, trying to get my bud Will back on the straight and narrow again, yeah. He's a big fat flamer! <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in love with me, so, uh, me? I like the ladies. Right, babe? Wow. Wow, that is just a beautiful thing to see. <laughs> No one's going anywhere. How dare you imply our marriage is a sham? Uh, you're gay. <laughs> what? A guy sleeps with guys and uh, immediately he's pegged as gay? <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about the day I met Rosario. I looked over the top of those half glasses into those big brown eyes and I knew from that moment love had found Jack McFarland. Oh, my cha-cha. <laughs> Rosario, my love, my life, my all, I adore you. You had me at Ola. Good Lord. 
You know you shouldn't look, but there is a certain morbid fascination, isn't there? Sweetie, I believe this is yours. Now, I've seen people desperate to be an American, but that is desperate to be an American. <laughs> Fine, you pass. See you in six months. We never met. What's the problem? It was just a kiss. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. It was a really good kiss. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> no. Show me. No. Come on, we're both stoned. <laughs> Forget it. Well, shut up and show me. <laughs> yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> Here's to the ball and chain. If she makes it through the night, ba-bang, I think I'll keep her. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> to my will, you are my hero and my soulmate, and I'm a better woman for loving you. Oh. Hey, 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 come on, you two. How's about a kiss? Oh. Hey. Sorry, nice. <laughs> Listen, I know what your problem is. You have all of this unfinished business with Nathan. I do. There's so much that I never got to say to him. Well, say it to me, honey. Come on, we'll role play. Yeah, I did something like this with Rosario when Stan went to prison, and it really helped. Yeah. I'm moving on. I'm, I'm firing people again. I'm having fun. <laughs> I guess it couldn't make me feel worse. Okay. <sighs> First of all, Nathan, I need to know what made you change your mind. I don't know. Sometimes things just don't work out. But we were perfect together. Well, you know, it just didn't feel right. <laughs> How could you say that? I mean, we had such an incredible connection. I mean, when in your life have you had sex like that? <laughs> oh, uh, actually, never. Didn't you love having sex with me? I did. <laughs> Wasn't it amazing? Yeah, I... It was. It... it was amazing. I miss having sex with you. I miss having sex with you, too. And I miss everything else about you. I miss everything else about you, too. I love you, Nathan. I love you, Grace. <laughs> the massager, okay? She gave it to her guy. He's a really good kisser. How good a kisser? <laughs> what, what, what happened to it? Did, did your boyfriend take it back to the sharper image? He's not my... How did you know about that? I saw him there when I was returning that stupid personal cooling system. <laughs> you returned the personal cooling system? Why didn't you just tell me that you didn't like it? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me that you wanted more time because of some guy? Hey, you want me to show you? Show me. Okay. Get out! Damn, Leo's good. <laughs> okay, now, when you step up to the podium, make sure you have everybody's attention. Then you begin. 
friends, parents, and classmates. Today, I'd like to talk to you about what it means to follow your heart. And it's no coincidence that nurses, like angels, wear white. <laughs> what do you think? It's really good. Yeah, what about you guys? Well, can I kiss you again? <laughs> I want to kiss a guy under one of these things. Me too. <laughs> so, want to see how it feels to kiss a guy under one of these things? <laughs> I don't think we should live together anymore. This wasn't that bad, Rick. <laughs> I don't think we should live together anymore, either. It's just when you moved in, it was so we could heal and then move on. I know. And I don't feel like I've moved on. Have you? I'm standing here making out with a girl. That's the international symbol for not moving on. <laughs> First thing in the morning, we're hitting the outlets. Good night. Good night. Honey, no kiss. Oh, sorry. <laughs>